What up, Internet? Shit, what the fuck is that? It's like a big garbage bag ripped apart full of shit all over the fucking road. Awesome. Sorry. Um, all right, I want to do a video response to Call to Dusty today. Uh, he did a video last or the other day last night uh, called, you know, Don't Join the Military. I was going to do a video response to you, Dusty, for the one you did uh, about 9-11. It was a fucking great video, man. I got it. Great. I wanted to do the exact same fucking video on the exact same day. Me and my girlfriend were talking about it all day, and I don't want to be disrespectful to this country because it's like you said, man. Like, you say anything about the troops or 9-11, you're just automatically just stamped the fucking bad American. And it's so ridiculous. People who do that, their fucking brains are like this small. Um, <clears throat> but anyway... I watched the video on the do not join the military and it just it's pretty much exactly how I feel on the topic man um, you know it's I, I have two friends too that joined the military and I was very torn when they did I, I was really proud of them you know because they decided what they wanted to do but at the same time I felt like I was losing two of my friends I didn't know what was gonna happen to them it was just like a really shitty thing you know and it's not like just going away on you know to college or something you know you're going away you can not come home man you come home in a fucking box you know and it's you know my whole thing with the military is this um, I don't have a problem with the troops you know none, none of the none of Americans really have a problem with troops I think what Americans or the people who who some would view as being anti-america you know saying oh you don't support the troops you don't support the troops what we really don't support we don't support and that guy was high as hell already it's fucking 7 30 in the morning he looked like Ray Charles out there he was like yeah <laughs> this fucking neighborhood is great, man. Uh, so anyway, you uh, you know, you got these these troops, right? And we have people here who, if you say anything about the troops or, or the war or America, ah, oh, you're anti-American. Oh, you don't like it. Go somewhere else. No, man, it's not that. All right, it's it's we have boys, you know, young guys and and women who who don't really know. It's not maybe they don't know what else to do with their life, but there's not really that many opportunities right now in America, so a lot of people are joining the military. You know, but the problem with that is is that these they train you to be a weapon. They train your body, they train you to be a you know, a weaponized person. You're 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 you know, a fucking warrior. So they, they're training warriors, right, to go over away from our homeland. They're going overseas and, and it's my understanding it's always better to be on the defense in a fight. It's always better to be defending something rather than being some asshole running off fucking trying to just kill everybody or do, you know, all this kind of other shit. And history has kind of shown us that as well. If you look, um, I, I always just kind of wanted our military and the warriors, the strong warriors that we train that love so much to defend their country and defend the other people around them. You know, they have such a sense of pride and, and strength, and it's you can feel it. It's, it's a fucking great thing that we have these guys that are so capable of defending America. But I think a lot of Americans feel like we are allowing a small little cluster of fuckheads to just kind of do puppeteer and send these guys off into, you know, in the past, into Vietnam, you know, and, and into Afghanistan, the graveyard of empires, Iraq. Areas where, yeah, they may be able to, you know, exhibit strength and, and accomplish goals that we're setting forth. But are we really thinking about what, whether or not we should be doing that and whether it's worth it? You know, I mean, is it all about just fucking conquest and stealing other countries' natural resources under the guise of, you know, yeah, we're here on a humanitarian mission? I mean, you got to be able to sift through some of the bullshit that, that happens, in, in my opinion, to be a good fucking American. You can't just stick your head in the sand and just wave an American flag while your head's in the sand. It doesn't really work, you know? So, I don't know, I just wanted to make this video to say that there are people in this country who are not against the soldiers at all. I would never say anything bad about soldiers. These guys are fucking awesome. But I don't want them to die over in fucking a rock hole in, in you know, across the world. They don't deserve that. If, you know, I mean, if, if we're in grave danger of being, you know, invaded by a, another country, then these guys are going to be the first guys to fucking, you know, be on the front lines. And fuck, I would love to stand behind them and help. But I don't see the point in, in sending these guys off to just these 
faraway lands, you know, to just steal other people's shit. Go ahead. To just steal other people's shit, you know, and force those other poor people to defend their home. You know, we, we forget so, so quickly in this country that, like, these other people who you look at as, you know, terrorists, some of them may be, you may be able to classify them as terrorists, but a lot of them are just men who are defending their homeland. They're defending their little poppy crop or whatever they got that helps them survive. You know, and we got guys going over there with enough body armor and fucking weapons just on the body that, you know, could provide that a family with enough food for three years. You know, if you sold the guy's fucking M77 rifle or whatever the hell they have, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Like, that's just creating a whole shitstorm of bad vibes. Like, you know, you got these guys over there and just murdering people, whether they're terrorists or not, you know, with these expensive guns, expensive body armor, we got fucking unmanned drones. It's just really an unfair fight to some degree. And, and, you know, the guys over there are just, I know a lot of them feel like bullies. You know, they feel like, fuck, I didn't come here to do this. I didn't sign up to just kill p poor people. You know, I mean, shit, if you're taking fucking fire, you got to fire back, right? But it's just the whole thing. Should we be over there? Should we be doing what we're doing? I think that's what most Americans question. It's whether or not these guys are dying for the right reasons. So, I don't know. This is just a rant. Just wanted to do a video response to uh, Cult of Dusty's last two videos. I'm actually going to put the, the link to both of them in the drop down. I highly suggest you watch both of them in their entirety. And let me, you know, let him know your thoughts. And I'd love to know your thoughts on this topic as well. Um, we're, we're not anti-American. It's not that. No. Fuck that. Anybody who questions things is not anti-American. If you're, if you are just quick to throw that out there, then you know you're, you need to just maybe reevaluate your opinion a little bit. You know, we're just concerned for the, for the way America is perceived by the rest of the world because uh, we all are on this planet together. So for us to just pretend like the United States is its own fucking world is a little ridiculous. You know, and I'm, I'm fucking tired of Americans who think like that. I'm getting really fucking tired of it, okay? We're not more important than everybody else. Get that out of your fucking head if you think you are. So, that's it, man. I don't want to end it on an angry note, but to definitely watch Dusty's two videos. They're in the drop down. Um, really good, really good videos, Dusty. Definitely both of them were fucking spot on. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Leave your interesting comments in the comment section below. And uh, that's it. Peace.